Toby's Triumph. It was a beautiful autumn day on the island of Sodor. It was time for the harvest festival. All the engines were busy. They puffed across the island with their harvest festival deliveries. Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth with news of an exciting special. Alicia Botti was arriving to give an open-air concert at the picnic fields. Toby and Henrietta, you are to collect Alicia Botti and take her from the airport to the picnic. Remember, Toby, boomed Sir Topham Hatt, Miss Botti is a very special passenger. I am relying on you to do a very good job. Thomas and Percy were excited for their friend, but Toby wasn't excited. I've never taken a very special passenger before, he wished. You take passengers all the time, tooted Thomas. But not very special ones, said Toby. I'm worried I'll make a mistake. As he and Henrietta were cleaned and polished, Toby was still worrying. And later, when the refreshments lady laid out a very special tea, Toby worried even more. As Toby puffed out of Marin Station, he was so busy worrying, he forgot to slow down. Toby took the bend too fast. Henrietta rocked this way and that. The tea was spilt. Then Toby made another mistake. He was still worrying. He didn't see the red signal until the very last moment. He screeched to a stop. Henrietta biffed into him. All the cakes fell onto the floor. Just then, Percy puffed past pulling vegetables. Hello, Toby, he peeped happily. But Toby didn't hear him. He was too busy worrying about his very special passenger. Toby puffed under a bridge. The children waved, but Toby didn't see them. He was so busy worrying that he made another mistake. Toby took the wrong track. He rattled down an overgrown branch line. It was lumpy and bumpy, dusty and dirty, and the branches and bushes covered Toby and Henrietta in leaves. Thomas puffed by, pulling freight cars of tomatoes. Hello, Toby, he tooted. What's happened to you? But Toby didn't hear him. He was still too busy worrying about his very special passenger. Toby picked up speed. He was so busy worrying, he didn't notice the farmer waving from the fields. And he didn't notice the dip in the track and the big mud puddle. Slow down, cried Elizabeth. But it was too late. Toby splashed through the puddle. Henrietta was covered from bumper to buffer in dark brown mud. Toby arrived at the airport. When Alicia Botti saw Toby and Henrietta, she was very upset. I can't arrive at a picnic on such a dirty train, she cried. What would my public say? Toby was so worried, he didn't know what to do. If Alicia Botti wouldn't get into Henrietta, Toby couldn't take her to the picnic, and the concert would be cancelled. Alicia saw that Toby was very worried. Don't worry, she said. A good clean is all you need. So at last, Toby stopped worrying. Alicia carefully boarded Henrietta, and Toby steamed away to the washdown. Don't worry, Toby, cried the workman. We'll soon have you sparkling like new. They cheerfully got to work with buckets and brushes. Henrietta loved the foam and the fuss. Alicia Botti thought it was fun, too. I've never seen an engine have a bath before, she cried. How delightful! 
Soon the workmen were whistling, Alicia was singing, and the refreshments lady made another very special tea. Toby saw that nobody worried, and nobody made a mistake. Everyone had fun. Before Toby knew it, it was time to go. Toby steamed towards the picnic fields. He came to a steep bend. Now he wasn't worried, and he didn't make a mistake. Toby remembered to slow down. He puffed perfectly round the bend. He wished through Knapford Station, while Alicia Botti enjoyed her very special tea. Toby was doing a splendid job. When the children called, Hello, Toby, he rang his bell brightly. Toby wasn't worrying anymore. Toby carefully followed the tracks to the picnic fields. He took the right route and started to enjoy his journey. Even when he saw cows on the track, Toby didn't worry. Everyone helped clear the track. Shoo cows, shoo shoo cows, sang Alicia Botti, and Toby joined in, ringing his bell. Soon the tracks were cleared and the cows were safely in their field. Toby puffed on his way. Toby stopped smoothly at the picnic. Everybody applauded. Alicia Botti was happy, and so was Sir Topham Hatt. Toby, you have done a very good job, he said. Toby was pleased. He wouldn't worry about taking special passengers ever again.